What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? What if I told you that Binance was coming to save us all, if you will? Uh, I think that, and by the way, I have nothing to back this up with, but I think that Binance is very, very interested right now in finding a way to revive Luna Classic. Now, the reason that I think that that's the case is because, and it's very simple, Binance holds a gigantic amount of the supply. And if you just take the context of what the value was at the time versus what the value is right now, then you're talking about a loss of probably 60x. So, I would venture to say that Binance has a vested interest, a real vested interest in the revival of Luna Classic. Not only do they have a vested interest in that, but they have a responsibility in their hearts to their investors to find a way to make everybody whole as best they possibly can. And there's a lot of people that have been sitting there for a long period of time waiting for something to happen. And it just so happens that a few days ago, Bitcoin, or Binance announced that Binance Thailand would be launching a Lunk pairing. Now, that's to increase volume, that's to increase flow, that's to increase burns, that's to do everything that could be done in order to bring this thing back to a, a level of vibrance and excitement. Burns, you say? Yes. In fact, we just discussed on Saturday that there were 6.5 billion Luna Classic that were burned in one single solitary transaction. Now, that was a hack. However, uh, I think that overall, I think we're going to be fine, by the way. Let me break this down for you. Let's get into the news. By the way, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button. It's very important that you do that. So, why Terra Luna Classic USTC prices crashed amid massive 6.5 billion lunk burn? Now, to clarify here, um, there's a lot going on. However, uh, to the, the biggest piece of this was <clears throat> BTC Turk. BTC Turk, just something, something happened. And somebody hacked them. Now, the hacker has been found. The hacker was moving, by the way, all the tokens to Binance, uh, which was uh, an incredible. And by the way, at the beginning of this month, when they do a massive amount of burn, I wonder what they're going to do with that. Is there going to be a massive burn because of the transfer? Because it, it Really, I have no idea yet, but the funds at this point have been frozen. So, um, you know, the, the question would be how much was sold off and how does Bitcoin Turk replace that? And that's going to be the question that we'll have to see answered over the next little while. So there, there is some background stuff going on. So I'm going to keep you informed as best I can as we get information for it. And we do have an update because Richard Tang himself, the new CEO at Binance, says Binance is assisting BTC Turk with investigations and have frozen over 5.3 million in stolen funds so far. Our investigations and security teams work around the clock as part of our proactive effort to protect the ecosystem from bad actors. We will provide further updates as relevant. So, to clarify that. Now, uh, a little bit more into this. Woo Blockchain uh, also kind of gave us a, a breakdown here. Bitcoin Turk, one of the well, Turkey's largest crypto exchanges, said it was attacked on June 22nd and cryptocurrency deposits and withdrawals have been stopped. Now, not only was that place attacked not only was bitcoin turk hacked but zach xbt stepped up and in his telegram revealed not only was btc turk hacked but also one of the crypto casinos crypto casinos you say hey guys have you tried terracasino.io it hasn't been hacked and you can use your Luna Classic, your Luna, your Bitcoin Ethereum, your BNB, your BUSD, your Polygon Matic, your USDC, USDT, or your Dogecoin uh, to do some risk-based gaming over here. And there are plenty of different games for you to choose from. And I would highly suggest that you come over, check it out, because here's the other thing. Not only does Terra Casino offer you a lot of risk-based gaming, but they also are one of the largest burn mechanisms in all of the Luna Classic ecosystem. And we're going to check that out a little bit later. So make sure that you sign up today at Terra Casino. So as we get more information about what happened here during this 
hack will give you an update. It is my belief that, of course, BTC Turk, since it does do a pretty good amount of volume with Luna Classic, will have to replenish its coffers, if you will, losing some 370 billion tokens. So they're going to have to replace that, and they'll have to replace that in the spot and open market. What hasn't been sold already, and there was some selling, but what hasn't been sold already, they will have to buy back, and that's going to lead to a price appreciation and a price pump. Not only that, remember, we have 6.5 billion burns. We have Binance burning at the beginning of this month and we've got about four and a half more weeks left until we get some real clarity on tax to gas and how that structure is going to work also don't forget that strathcole is having a conversation right now about 10xing the fees that are being charged for a transaction and look the, the fees right now are microscopic so even if they were 10x they would still be a lot more but that would lead to 10 times the amount of burn as what would currently happen in a tax to gas structure also there's a new proposal up from lunk crypto wolf and look i don't think this is a serious discussion because you're talking about you know <sighs> This is it. It's called a plan to vastly increase lunk burns. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's a bad idea. And by the way, I don't not want to see burns happen, but no one can fail to notice the result of the alleged Turkish exchange hack in terms of burns. So what if the exchanges agree to constantly send their excess lunk back and forth between each other on chain and incur the on chain tax? It would vastly increase the burns while at the same time vastly increasing the future value of the lunk they keep on reserve. It will not vastly increase the, the future value of the lunk they keep in reserve because any benefit that they would potentially get would be sold off immediately from people who are holding and letting the price, uh, once it appreciates a little bit, sellers are going to step in. Not only are sellers going to step in, but let's say you have 300 billion tokens and you're transferring them back and forth between Bitcoin, Turk, and, and Binance. That's about 6.5 billion as we come to understand right here, or 6 billion-ish tokens that are going to be burned. Now, when they get burned, then guess what? Those tokens are gone never to return again. So basically, you send 300 billion tokens over to one company from one company to the other. And when they get there, there's only 293.5 billion tokens because 6.5 billion just got burned. And now a lesser amount, there's going to be diminishing returns, of course. But if they continue to do that, then what they would be doing is at 6.5 billion tokens being burned, you have to go back and do the math and figure out what is the dollar amount. And that's somewhere in the neighborhood of, I want to say, $65,000, $66,000. There's no path in which these, these, these exchanges are just going to give you $60,000, $65,000 every few days or even every month in a burn or token transfer. They're just burning their own fuel. That makes no sense. So it's not going to happen. It's, it's a discussion that, that's taking place. But I just don't see a path forward for it. It makes no sense if I'm a if I'm a, an exchange. By the way, if I'm if I'm an exchange, there's nobody that's just going to tell me, hey, if you just burn sixty five thousand, then everything else in your goes up. Well, if I just leave it the way it is, and it'll just be the same value anyway, and I can just let somebody else do it. It just doesn't make any sense. But it, it is a discussion being had. Now, as far as price action goes, as you can see right here, we are in a little bit of an upward move. Now, the market is down about $70 billion on the day. You can see that up here. But the important part is uh, Luna Classic up 10% at this point as it's starting to recover a little bit rapidly from this, from whatever it is that happened with uh, Bitcoin Turk. Now, th that means that, you know, price is coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. Of course, we still have to deal with the dip in the market, but to see this is a very good sign and an indication that there's probably some buy pressure about to come in. Now, to be clear with you guys, um, I, I've been telling you guys to, to come over to Coin Hall and, and, and I told you to keep buying tokens, keep buying tokens. I took all of my tokens and I sold almost all of them to put it into Luna Classic when this happened because it dumped the price super hard. And I think the best path forward at this point is for me to stable these for a few days into Lunk, if you will. Not stable, but uh, but but to put to stable the, these tokens for just a little while and then put them back in to things like Rackoff, which, by the way, we're going to talk about Rackoff pretty soon because uh, it is my opinion that Rackoff might be the gem 
of the meme coins currently. And, you know, to the point that I don't think that it's actually a, even a meme coin when, when, when all is said and done here. So, um, but I'll get into that a little bit later. I don't have time to, to go over it now. But you can see here, uh, Pepe M down 84%, Clio down 16%. You see a lot of volume happening over here over the last uh, a little while. So, um, you know, a lot of stuff going on here. Not great. Not great, but LMT, by the way, uh, did make a, a nice move. And Tooting Common, again, Tooting Common, I said Rakoff, but Tooting Common is really, really coming along. Now, let's go to Station. There's no proposals, no governance up right now. Volume of trading, 78 million. Uh, people are buying back in um, and market cap up 10% on the day. So, you know, we're starting to see a little bit of a recovery off of this. We'll see how it manifests itself and we'll see how it... Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Phi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going in, by the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Actually moves overall. This does put a little bit of a uh, cramp in your style, if you will. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer for that recovery to go on. USTC, same thing, 134% uh, volume increase, 4.5% in market cap increase. Again, I don't have the faith that people do in USTC. It's good for a pump, but it's also going to dump back down. There's no reason to hold on to it to establish value. Luna Classic, 6.957 billion tokens in the last seven days. Lung burn up here. Remember, there's so much happening in the next little while, including 274 billion that that Chris Amani is going to burn. There's just so much happening in the nature of burning tokens. So much more than we've seen so far, I guess I should say. And that is probably going to be a very, very, very good thing. Now, um, as you can see here, there's no proposals up or anything like that. Again. To, to go through. And I know I go to two different places, but you know, I think it's important to check out Lunk Dash all the time to find out exactly what it is that's that's going on over there. Now circulating supply delegations, you've got all the information that you need right here. There's over a trillion Luna Classic that has been delegated into uh, being held. And if you come to station, you can check out your staking and you can see, you know, how much has been staked, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, you'll know exactly how much you have or, or, or exactly what it is. But the total is uh, 10 trillion. And by the way, 6 billion uh, lunk went into the community pool. That's about $60,000. Because the dunk on the price, though, uh, I want to say that, you know, since we're trading at about four zeros eight right now, the same, it's about $50,000. So but that'll go up. So we do have some community funds in which to spend, and we also have 12 million USTC that, that, that's sitting in there right now. But that was a big move into that pool. So, you know, there's a lot going on. And look, it is important that we all understand what happened here. And somebody got hacked, and, you know, that's, that's about all you can say about it. So... Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I was having computer problems. I've having, I've been having uh, just incredible camera problems. So you see here, this is usually Believe in Lunk. This is True Believers Network. This is my original setup. It's just been, it's kind of been, it's, just, it's out of control. Um, all of this is brought to you by Terraport here. And if you haven't already, uh, consider signing up for KCX, uh, Bitflex, you know, all the different things. And check out Cryptonomy.finance if you want to do some staking. So um, that's it for the, for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I apologize. I, you know, again, I get a little bit 
bit wordy when I'm, I'm passionate about Luna Classics. So um, you get that passion. It's not financial advice, but always right.